grade 5, module 5, lesson 18 homework. Number 1, use the grid paper to, saw, to draw. A, a rhombus with no right angles. So first, let's define a rhombus. So a rhombus... has four congruent sides we could also say that the opposite angles are congruent but I think the main thing that sticks out to me about a rhombus is it just has to have four equal sides because if it has four equal sides all of the other things will fall into place so a rhombus with no right angles let's see So those two sides are congruent or equal. Here we have four congruent sides and no right angles. Rhombus with four right angles. So basically, that is a square. So that's four equal sides and four right angles, so that's a square. C, a rectangle with not all sides equal. So a rectangle has four congruent angles, meaning it really just has four 90 degree angles. And then the opposite sides are the same length. Um, opposite angles are the same length because they're all the same size. So let's draw one that doesn't have all sides equal. Okay, so these two sides are congruent and these two sides are congruent and it has four 90 degree angles, which makes it a rectangle. And now let's draw a rectangle with all sides equal. So again, that's just going to be a square. My sides might not all be perfectly equal, but that's why I'm drawing the little lines that signals to whoever's looking at it that those sides are meant to be equal or congruent. Number two, a rhombus has a perimeter of 217 centimeters. What's the length of each side of a rhombus? So it's saying if we have a rhombus like that, it's saying that the perimeter or the distance around the outside is equal to 217 centimeters and we know about a rhombus it has four equal sides so what we need to do with the 217 is just divide it by four so four can't go into two but it can go into 21 five times five times four is 20 bring down the seven four goes into 17 four times 4 times 4 is 16, we get 1 left over, so we get 54 and 1 left over out of 4. So 54 and 1 fourth, or we could say 54 and 25 hundredths centimeters would be the length of each side. List the properties that all rhombuses share. So all rhombuses have 4 congruent sides we can say that opposite sides or angles I meant to say angles are congruent And four, list the properties that rectangles share. So rectangles have four right angles. 
and then the, um, the sides, we can say the opposite sides are congruent or the same length.